congratulate Ball State on an unbelievable year and just, you know, it, everything from the coach, the players, you know, uh, just a class act all year. You know, we were down there, played them twice and were there for, you know, five days. Then to see them around here, um, just have a lot of aloha for everybody in that program and, and thought they had a, an amazing season. Um, and they played really high level. And you know, I said earlier in the week, that's a, that's a veter as veteran a group of athletes as it you can have in college athletics. Um, and they played at a really high level. They were uh, serving unbelievably well through like three sets. You know, they, I think at one point they had three errors. They were at like 95, 96% and really putting some pressure on us in that I more than most respect that and appreciate that because it's something that we pride ourselves on and they were uh, they were really playing at a high level and, and serving the ball tough. So uh, congrats to, to Ball State on a great year. And then, you know, proud of our guys just to gut it out. You know, it wasn't pretty. We, you know, we uh, thought in the second set, you know, we hit some balls out kind of uncharacteristically. And um, um, but the guys stayed, you know, confident and, and our, our defense got a little better. Our serve receive tightened up and uh, you know, able to get um, to get the win. Coach Vinny Lopes here from Off the Block. Can you take us through the um, fifth game, particularly at the beginning, and what you were seeing from Tella and how he was able to be so successful serving to start off that game? Well, he's always successful. This might have been one of his worst nights serving. I think he missed like four or five times. You don't miss four or five a week, let alone in a match. Um, you know, he's a really effective server. And um, like I said, I, overall, I think <laughs> I haven't seen him miss that many in a match, maybe in his career. Um, there's no doubt, though, he, he's a good server. And that's why we run him back here, here, have him be the first server and get him as many turns as he can from the service line. And then for both the players, you're down one game going into, into the fourth. What do you think it says about your team that you guys you know, didn't give in any of the pressure or anything like that and was able to bounce back to get the win. Yeah, I think uh, as soon as we lost the fourth, the third set, we knew that we were we had our backs on the wall. We had to come back, we had to win because that's the only thing we could do, right? We didn't want to go home early. It was too early for that. Uh, so we did our best, we brought our best game and that led us to the win. Yeah, kind of a do or die situation. Just played hard. Obviously the energy went up. Um, right from the start, so it was a good fight for sure. Hi, Coach. Daniel Keene, Ball State Daily. Um, we saw the traveling Hawaii fans really show out tonight. How much of an impact did they have on your game tonight? Well, we're, you know, we're so blessed to be supported at a level that, you know, you just certainly volleyball doesn't see. Um, we get that a lot, like everywhere we go, obviously at home, you know, we lead the nation in attendance every year and uh, volleyball is a big deal in Hawaii. It means a lot to a lot of people. And one of the things that, that we pride ourselves on is putting on a good show for them and know how appreciative they are and how much just pride it brings, how much joy it brings to the people in the state of Hawaii uh, when we're successful. And it really, uh, um, you know, the Hawaiian word I would use is mana. There's, a, there's an energy, there's a spirit that we feel from having them there. And uh, they're certainly a part of every night when we're out there competing. Uh, and then Ball State's block, especially in the second and third set, were, were really dominant. How did you guys overcome that in the fourth and the fifth? Yeah, just some smarter swings. I mean, I thought we had, you know, we were, most of the blocks were coming and transition balls from us from the middle of the court, like out of the back row. Um, we did a better job of just swinging high off the top or moving around it instead of just going straight into it, getting blocked. Um, both teams come in and among the leaders in uh, statistically in blocking. So we knew they, you know, they're a really good blocking team. But uh, I thought we we got a little smarter and it attacked uh, with a little more, you know, thought as as the match went on. Uh, coach, what was said, or did you have to even say anything between the third and fourth that seemed like really sparked the team and took it to another level? Yeah, we talked a little bit about the body language, you know, it's like we I, did something that one of those things that we control entirely that I thought we could have been a little more um, just embracing the moment. They were playing well. You're in a national semifinal. You're playing a really good team. And, you know, we have to expect that they're going to they're going to serve. They're going to block. They're going to they're going to play at a high level. So 
Um, I thought we did a better job of controlling our, just the, the body language and, and, and being a little more aggressive, um, you know, in the, the back half of the match. Pearson, Brett, how did that message kind of light a fire for, for that whole performance? Yeah, for sure. We, need, we knew we needed to improve and get better. And like I said, it was do or die. You know, one or two things from the coaches, but really not much had to be said. We knew what we had to do, and we um, went on there and did it. So I was, I was proud of our group for that. Three straight national championship games. Where, what level is this program at right now, and, and how much confidence do you have in it? Where you guys are at as a whole as program? Uh, yeah, I've been a part of this program for only two years. That's my second year, but I feel like there's been great work. Uh, there's been great work over the last five, six, seven years. And I think that shows the results are great. We've been to back-to-back -back national championship games, and we're here for another one. We'll do our best to bring another one back to Hawaii. Yes, three, not two. He said he's three. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I can't even, I, you know, I can't really even fathom that. I don't know historically when the last time a team played in the final game three consecutive years. Um, but it's a hell of an achievement, I'll tell you that. It's hard to... When winning's hard every night and getting into the tournament's hard and getting to the national semifinals hard. And, um, you know, I, I was asked this, a question earlier in the week about what, what benefit it is being here. It's like, I think we did have done a pretty good job of just navigating the week and we prepare our guys to be able to, to meet each, you know, demand as the week unfolds, whether it's the media and how to handle the practice. And, um, you know, I think that's, it's been an advantage. And, um, you know, I think, We'll look back on whether wherever this ends up, how many times we do this, but we certainly don't take it for granted. And I think it, it uh, you know, it needs mentioning too that the Big West as a league is, without question, the best league in men's collegiate volleyball. The Big West will be four-time national champions tomorrow, um, and that's uh, it's quite a testament to the the quality of student athletes and the quality of coaches that we have uh, competing men's volleyball in the Big West. Yeah, I mean, we certainly didn't, like I said, you never expect to win other than, you know, you prepare to the best you can and we knew it was a really good team. And, you know, for me, it's more just, again, stay in focus on what we have to do to go forward. We didn't come here to make it into the final. We came here to win and defend our national championship. So, um, so far we've been checking boxes and mission accomplished and we will absolutely have our hands full on Saturday night against a team that will be playing for the fourth time. And we just know each other really well. <laughs> like we've, we've, you know, we've played a lot, you know, I said, uh, when, at, when Al and I were playing, uh, in Honolulu a couple of weeks ago, we had a conversation on the sideline prior to the, I guess it was the 2017 MPSF final, you know, and as the big West was coming into, we knew the next year, the big West was going to be a thing. And uh, we're like, you know what? We could be doing this kind of regularly for the next several years. So we've played each other a couple of times in the, the league championship. And, and now we get an opportunity to play each other again in the national championship. And um, like I said, it, it's just a, a testament to the, the highest level of men's volleyball in the country is being played in the Big West. Sorry, what, what was the question? <laughs> I'd say excitement. I mean, we're ready to go. I feel good, but I don't jump, so these guys are more tired than me. Uh, yeah, no, it's definitely excitement. We really wanted that. I think we both really worked really hard throughout the year, and at the end of the day, we deserved it. Uh, we played well. I'm proud of our guys, everyone on the team and the roster, um, and I think it's going to be a good show on Saturday. Um, Brad, if I can ask you this. Um, Set five, you guys go off 4 0. Um, Tala's got a great service run going, and you go up 7 2. But, you know, Ball State came back on you in set one. Um, how did you guys stay calm and not let them get back to where they were in set one? Yeah, I think just one point at a time. Uh, they played really well all match. Uh, we knew they could come back um, if we made mistakes. So just staying steady. We made one or two errors uh, there, I think 10 4, 10 5. Um, 
just staying staying steady and trusting each other, keep communicating, and uh, just got the job done. A uh, question for Spiros. Um, obviously, you guys played Ball State uh, two matches earlier this year. What's the biggest difference in what they uh, threw at you uh, early, or late January, early February versus uh, what they threw out uh, tonight? Um, I feel like we were more comfortable on the court. Uh, we knew we could run everything more smoothly on the court with Jacob. And I think that was a great help. Uh, and also, our energy was better because when we played there in Munchi, the fifth set was when kind of our energy went down. Uh, so we made sure that this was not going to happen again. And we did a good job of that. OK, we're going to go to questions on the Zoom. Brian. How's it? Thank you. Yeah, I think our defense got a lot better throughout the match. Uh, as we got more used to the swings coming at us, they played really well. They were hitting the ball pretty hard in the seams. Um, so just watching film for me personally, um, knowing where they like to attack, and coaches obviously help with the scouting report, um, and just being relentless on defense. Charlie talks about that a lot. Um, it's a lot of attitude and not so much technique. You just go out there and play, and play hard. 